Hey, what's up, guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial. And I just uploaded two lessons on my Patreon where I break down the whole project. But I also wanted to give you here on YouTube just a little snack of knowledge. Okay, so if you are curious on how to build infection scenes like this one, where something is growing along a surface and this can be made out of grass, but it also can be like a fungus, like a mushroom or whatever you can imagine. Okay, so if you ever wanted to grow something nasty or something beautiful along a surface then this lesson can be beneficial for you okay so as i said the full lesson is on my patreon but i also wanted to give you like a hint on how to build something like this one so let's just start with a little plane here and i just want to give it like a little bit of details something like this one today i want to use a vertex map method okay so first you need to put a freeze layer into this one I think that is just how you need to set it up you set this one to grow okay that makes sense then you can for example start with a spherical field there is your spherical field let's just put this one over here and I want to put this one to 20 for example just be sure that it is touching the surface here and you can actually see that this one is based on your polygons so just be sure to press NB to see the resolution of your plane so if you want to just give this growth system the more resolution then you could put this one to 200 and 300 for example and I'm just aiming for squares here this one should be fine for now but just keep in mind that if you are increasing the resolution you can make this effect more detailed and let's just see what is happening now okay so more or less this one is already working of course you can spice this one up with different additional layers here so for example you could put in a shader field to just give this one like an interesting noisy behavior but for now we can keep it like this and I would say now you just grab a cloner put in for example a sphere let's do it like this let's set this one to object put the plane into the cloner put this one maybe to 20 or let's put this one to 5 press NA to get rid of the lines and just for me that this one is looking a little bit more interesting I'm gonna put a red material on this one now let's fold this one to have just a little bit more screen estate here and then go on your cloner and make Maybe you can use like a plane effector here. Let's go into the plane effectors fields and drag in this field here. And now you don't understand what is happening here. So just to see this one better, we should pump this one up to 2000, for example, or even to 5000. Let's not be greedy and let's put this one to 20,000. And you can see that you already get an effect here. But this plane effector is not doing what you want of it. You don't want to move the position, but maybe you want to change the scale and you want to set this one to minus one now this one is inverted let's just go inside of this one put this one to invert and there you actually should have your growth simulation so I don't know what is happening here so maybe we shouldn't put the invert inside of this one but we can also go inside here and put the invert into it and now you can see that these spheres are growing on your surface and now you've got the basics of this effect this one here is just a little bit more polished and with a more beautiful asset and some additional effects like this shock wave and stuff like that so if you want to level this one up to the final result check out my patreon but other than that i hope that you learned something useful here on youtube and thank you so much for your time see you next time bye everyone